Hey, what's up? So now I will start by compiling our SAS files. First thing we need to create them, right? So I will create a folder called source. Inside of it will be uh, another file called scss. And inside the source, another file called JavaScript. And at the end, in the root of the source folder, I will have our index.html. Here is our um, template or our HTML code, and that will be it. Now let's go to our SAS and create our main.scss. Let's put some stuff, so body, uh, background, background color will be black, color will be white smoke. Simple stuff. Now, to compile SAS in JavaScript or in Gulp, Gulp is JavaScript, but yeah, to compile SAS uh, in JavaScript, you will install a package called so npm install called node uh, sas and to use that in gulp.js you will install another uh, package called gulp sas and yeah so i will install these two and i will ask myself another uh, or the same question is these packages that the developer will interact with at the end or an end user it's a developer right so i will mark them as an npm De uh, development dependency. I think I made a mistake in the previous video. I said that there is two types of packages in in Gulp, but no, two type of packages in npm: div dependency packages or normal dependency packages. Okay. So while this finishes, let's go uh, to our Gulp file and let's require some stuff. So const we will require uh, Gulp sas. And from that, I won't destruct anything. I will just create a value or a variable called sas. I will export the, if, if the whole module. I'll store it inside a variable called sas. Um, now, sas.compiler compiler will be equal. So this is an object. This will be a property inside the object called compiler. I will create it. This will be equal to require or the module exported from node sas uh, to create. like this let me go to the package JSON since this installed and you can see everything is here anyway so we have our compiler here our source sas gulp uh, object is here now to use it let's go to our compiled sas and let me just show you where, where the output of this compilation will be so inside our source I will create another folder called dist everything will be inside dist I think this would be should this should be an E, right? Uh, sorry, an I. It doesn't matter, but usually people do put it, put everything compiled inside a folder called dist. So, to start compiling SAS, I will import multiple stuff. Or yeah, I will, I will keep this. I will import multiple st stuff from Gulp as well. Uh, first thing is called source. So when you start executing some stuff in Gulp, you need to go, for example, if you need to go to a specific folder, you will start by using the source uh, file. It's the source function, sorry. So source tells Gulp to go to the path I will define here and do some tasks on all the files inside this path. So here we'll, we will have a path, then I can pipe this. So source returns an, a stream. In Node.js, streams are a way to create asynchronous actions. So you don't need to understand all of them, but every output from a stream can be piped. So I'm piping the output from this to my SAS task, which is required here, right? And each, so I'll execute this as a function here. And each, and this is also, if you hover over it, will return a, a stream, read write stream. Uh, each stream have some events we can subscribe to so on this will be on error execute this callback function which is inside sas dot log error might be config confusing if you don't know about streams but basically we will start from this path i will put a path in in a while but everything inside this path go and 
give it give it the output from this function which is all the files to this pipe which has the sas compiler so this will compile everything outputted from the source stream then every then after compiling these i will pipe also the output into a using function called dist from gulp uh just like this this will put the output in a specific directory and we also here need we also here uh, need the path so the way I like to construct my paths is using uh, a function from the path module in nodejs so I'll put it here so I require from fs the file system module oh sorry from the path the path module this is already built in in nodejs as you can see I will so this will return an object or exports an object I will destruct a couple of things first one is the join uh, yeah for now it will be only the join so uh, the the path we will use that as you can see or you can predict that we will use it everywhere so I will create a global variable called path this will be equal to the join function uh, I will put the directory name then source let me show you what the directory name will do let me comment all of this and let me just console log directory now let me run this file in the node.js environment so as you can see this will output the path to the current working directory which is very helpful and the another thing I am putting the source uh, I want to join this in the same path you can actually just do it like this then maybe I want to join another thing uh, I will put the name but I, I hate asking the question that and the question is uh, does this have should I add a forward slash here or not should I add it at the end should I add it here uh, I, I hate asking these kind of questions so this is what the join function actually do let me show it to you in, in practice so let me start node here node shell let me import that so we have join you can see it's a function so let's join a couple of stuff this only accepts the strings so one two and three so it will join them as a path as a folder path let's do it let's do it again by putting for the slash here and if you are joining them by plus this will have a, this will be a wrong path we have two for the slashes if we have this but this will resolve them in the correct uh, format that's why I like using this it's very helpful as you can see it will clean a lot of stuff that might happen and uh, you don't want them you don't want these kind of stuff to happen so that's why I like using the join function but you don't need to use it so uh, let's, let's, remove, let's return everything to its original state so that's our path we are going to the command directory then going to the source folder let's put this here using the join so I will start from the path which is the source directory then I will go to our SCSS this one then to tell uh, gulp.js the files that I am looking for I will use this kind of expression so every everything dot SCSS so this tells gulp that I am searching for all the files that uh, ends with SCSS star means anything so this is our path this will resolve to all the fun to all the files that end with uh, SAS, uh, SCSS and this is the path I will remove it and put join I will go to our path which is in the source directory then go to test so this now should compile this main dot SCSS into uh, CSS file sorry uh, npm run dev so it's 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 uh, completely okay to have some errors um, let me just debug them okay create is not a function yeah okay sorry my bad you just require the node sas inside the compiler property so hopefully everything is fine so as you can see we have our main dot uh, css let's let me just prove to you that this works i think you define very vari sas variable like this 
uh, so color would be equal to black and let me put the color here so now npm and dev our main CSS should have black without these kind of uh, SAS stuff so this is really nice uh, we are doing that so let's create another uh, folder that is another folder inside the SAS called section and let's create another file here called section.scss let's modify the section or tag or add styles to it so color will be green uh, background color will be green yellow um, <laughs> anything let's put some uh, variables here like this oops semicolon this is fine so let's now run this we should see I mean if if any file that ends with scss inside our scss folder should be compiled we should see our section dot uh, css file right but as you can see nothing appeared uh, because this path will only look to the will only look to in the inside this sas folder it won't go deeper to make it go deeper luckily there is something really nice called or not called this is the expression to do this if you put if you are adding two two um, stars that means go any in, inside any folder inside this path so how no matter how nested your files in, th in this folder directory even if you have maybe like uh, too many folders and inside of them you have a sas file this will capture them okay so as you can see uh, we have that we have the section everything is resolved we have our main but the thing that I don't like is we have the same folder uh, structure I don't like this uh, a way to solve this is to use a library called or yeah to use a library integrated with gulp we will have something really powerful so let me show you uh, npm install uh, it's, it's called the glob so it's a development dependency as well I will start by importing or destructing something from the package that they export so globe it's called uh, this function called sync let me show you what this function do so if, if, if we tricked gulp to just give it the fold the path of the files they need to be compiled they will gulp will just put it inside the disk like the main CSS they won't create the folders so on this package will we can get the files by specifying by specifying like an expression they will give us an array of all the files that match with this expression this is what this package do okay so let me just comment everything you turn this and the sync and also these stuff I uh, did me uh, files would be equal to join so this will be res this will be resolved to a path. Let me just show every th every step by step for you everything. So node gulp file. So as you can see, this is the path. Gulp will use it to uh, find all the files that match with this path. But as like I said, they will stay in the same folder structure. I don't like this. M maybe you want this, but I don't like it. Uh, another package that is very famous to resolve this issue and another, a lot of other issues is the globe so I will put the sync function here and notice what the output will be so it's an array of all the paths for all the files now if I pass this array so let me remove this return uh, so let me, I have a fast way to return everything like this so if I put that here with the sync function so notice the output let me remove everything inside the disk okay the disk is empty now npm run dev we should see uh, two files at the same level uh, I like this approach more feel free to do whatever you want um, I, I hope I did not make you confused about all of these packages and stuff but uh, I can not just uh, explain everything from the start so uh, in gulp.js if you want a task to execute uh, specific commands or specific functions in a specific directory you will use the source function so source 
from its name we will start by a path or a couple of paths so at, at the start we just put this which is uh, go to our source directory go then the, to the CSS to the SAS directory and capture all the files no matter how nested they are that end up with dot as CSS when you capture all of these pass them or pipe them since this is since this returns a stream we will pipe all these files uh, to the SAS compiler and we will watch errors so we can look them now after you compile them pass the output of this stream the SAS stream to this pipe which has the dist function which will put everything inside our dist folder inside our source so this is basically what we did uh, so that's the first step to start using gulp might be really really confusing but i think in the next couple of videos i will try uh, to make them easier by start using by minifying the css we created i think that would be a good idea so this will give you more context and how we can um, uh, organize these tasks because right now we have a bug uh, i will show it to you in the next video thank you